uh, one of the questions I like I had listed is what is like the biggest change that you've noticed like in your lifestyle or the way you look at life since you had Parker? You and Lena had Parker. Ooh, okay. I got a good answer for this. Um, I feel like having somebody in my life who is so defenseless and so needing of like empathy and understanding, like mm-hmm. literally my kid couldn't do anything that I could really be mad at her for. You know, yeah. like the other day, my fucking, it didn't actually happen to me, but the housekeeper came in and she was laughing her ass off <laughs> And she was covered in shit, like her hands, oh like Parker had shit herself, and it was pulled, it was down her leg, it was on her foot, and, and the, she was the, playing with and it. The housekeeper, well, no, but she was just holding on to the housekeeper. The housekeeper was laughing her ass off. She wanted Aww. to show me, and I'm laughing my ass off, like, oh my god, Parker. But like that right there of like having somebody in your life who can do like one of the grossest things that you could possibly do, like I would not be that understanding if you shit all over yourself. <laughs> Like, I just expect you to act a certain way. So that's different. Like, but that kind of makes me feel towards other people. Like, I want to just be more understanding of what they're going through. I want to be a little bit more in tune mm-hmm. with where they're at. Because if, if, if somebody fucks up, like with House Phone, not showing up for the podcast, for example, <laughs> it's like, but he's I, wa- I want to be understanding baby. of that. Because in many ways, he is kind of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's fucking funny. And her face is too adorable. Like you I know, she, and she has a little two teeth now. It's like, <laughs> and it's weird when I think about like once she gets to the point that I have to like punish her, scold her, like tell her she did something wrong. It's gonna be hard. Like it's gonna be hard, and I kind of feel like I'm gonna have to be acting. I'm gonna be have to be you know. <laughs> bad girl like you need to blah 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 like you need to sit in the corner for this longer like i'm not gonna believe it when i'm saying yeah. it because really i'm gonna want to be like oh i understand it's okay but like i don't know but that's why i'm so fucking thankful i have lena because she understands like child psychology and like how to raise a kid because she's like worked with like troubled yeah. kids and all this kind of shit before. oh really yeah mm-hmm. when she was younger she was a babysitter for an autistic kid for a long time oh, wow. and did other babysitting shit so i feel like she's gonna guide me through a lot of that you know? mm-hmm I feel like I'd be kind of a strict parent. You're definitely gonna be a strict parent. You're so strict Russian. with our cats. Just Russian. with just with our cats, like sometimes like they'll we'll come Russian. home and our trash is knocked over and I'm just like, what the fuck? And I'll grab our spritzer. Parker backwards is recrap. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Fuck. Keep going. Um, but I would just like spritz the hell out of him and like just be like yelling at him and shit. And Riley's just like, "You're <coughs> too pun- You're too hard on our cats. They're just kittens. They don't know what they're doing." I'm like, "They can't be knocking over our fucking trash and shit like that." And I always feel like we're, you know, in the future when we do have kids, like we're gonna have that like difference. And like I'm gonna be like my super mom strict on like more chill with me than my dad was with me. So. Hmm. But my kid will like, you know, you'll you'll put like a bowl of food in front of her. And she'll just woof, like throw it on the ground, and and you're like ah, ha, ha, I'm so fun. but they're kind of like the cat, cause like you could yell at the cat for knocking some shit over. But they won't it's, understand. It's not gonna matter. Yeah. Same thing with hers. It's not gonna matter if I like tell her like don't knock that off. No, she's just being a baby. When Thank it get you. weird though is once they're three and they can yeah. sort of start to understand like you shouldn't have done that. Like this is that was bad. But also Dang. like you don't want to yell at someone for doing something accidentally. Yeah, you know? exactly. But you, yeah, I don't know, yeah. It's gonna so, be a journey. Yeah, I don't know. It's, that's a whole thing I have How to deal with. How did you feel when you found out that you were gonna have a daughter? Um, I hadn't really like a let. Did my you think s- you were gonna have a son? I didn't really think about it. Like I tried to just not think about it. I mm-hmm. think because mm-hmm. I just was like, whatever, whatever. happens, it happens. It's a fifty-fifty shot. Fuck it. Um, I'm happy, honestly, because I feel like a girl is like potentially less destructive. I've heard yeah. from a lot of parents is that like boys just tend to be crazier and more wild. Um, so I'm happy about that, I guess. Obviously, with like a boy, I think it would be easier for me to like immediately relate to him in a, in a sense because I feel like my whole life has been doing a lot of very like boy like things, you know, riding bikes, being mm-hmm. at the skate park, all that shit would be like easy for me to understand. I feel like with a daughter, it's going to be more uncharted territory, like more stuff that I won't understand. Like, yeah. you know, like actually having a daughter is kind of like if you're the dad, it's like a little bit more hands off. Cause it's like, there's going to be a lot of stuff in their life that the mom clearly is just going to, mm-hmm. you know, Oh, you want to take her to the bathroom? <laughs> like when you're out in public, like, yeah, Oh, like yeah. if it's a daughter, then that makes a lot more sense for the mom to be doing it. And you know, or like the, the conversations about sex or conversations about getting your period, whatever. Obviously that's way more mm-hmm. of a mom thing. If we had a boy, it's going to be more like intensive for me. Cause it's going to be like, who's taking him to the skate park. Obviously that's a dad yeah. thing. Who's going to be, 
playing in the dirt with them sounds like more of a dad thing, you know? I don't Did know. your parents have like the the you know that talk with you? The bees and the birds or whatever? <laughs> the birds and the bees? I remember my parents telling me like, oh, when a mommy and daddy like want to have a baby, they <laughs> they go they go into the bedroom together and they have a baby. And in my mind, I never really thought about it past that. So I, I think I was like honestly like eleven or some shit really? before my parents like explained the like penis and vagina thing. My parents never ever ever had that conversation with me, and whenever that topic even gets like close to being brought up, it just becomes so incredibly awkward, and like we just avoid it at all costs. So it just like very, I had to figure all that stuff out by myself. I remember hearing a rap lyric when I was maybe like, I don't know, like nine or some shit, and it was something about like I'm gonna put my dick in your pussy, <laughs> and I remember just thinking like. Whoa, that's some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, damn, like, I didn't realize, like, no, that's the thing. That's, yeah. like, that's how babies are made. Like, I thought, like, damn, like, people do that. That's crazy. You know what song? I didn't know that that was what sex was. Really? It took me, Putting a like, penis nine, in a it, like, took me a little while to figure out, like, oh, that's the whole thing. You know what song got me questioning all that was Peaches and Cream. When Peaches and Cream came out, I remember like listening to enjoying it, like, bopping my head and shit and telling my sisters, like, because my, my sisters are seven uh, years older than me, and I would tell them, like, this song's really about peaches and like cream. Like I really thought it was just like you know sliced nice sliced peaches and like you know whipped cream or whatever. And they're like, no, it's about something else. But you have to figure it out. We can't tell you. And I remember just being like so puzzled as a kid, like, what the fuck is peaches and cream, dude? And like, that's the crazy thing is anything you don't tell your kid about is potentially going to be that kind of thing because I remember I was, I was on a mission to figure it out. I remember dude. I was maybe like eight years old and I remember a girl in the hallway just goes, "You're gay." And I'm like, no, you are, or something. And she goes, you don't even know what gay is. And I'm like, I, I forget what I said, but then she said, like, gay, gay is when boy, a boy who likes other boys. And I was like, like mind blown. Like, never even thought of it in my head. I never, ever thought, I always thought boys like girls, and that's it. That's and so that was how I fucking realized immediately, like, oh, of course. There must be dudes who like other dudes. Dude. I had to find out from a girl telling me in the hall. That made me. That makes me feel like from very early on. I want to explain to my kid. Like yes, most most daddies want to be with a mommy, but some mommies want to be with mommies, and that, you know, like I don't know. Have you listened to that Fifty Cent song? Growing up confused, I was confused. My mama kissing that girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> confused, growing up in a cold world. 